This is a stock analysis blitz for Union Jack Oil. Doc was suggested to me by my subscriber Adam WH. Before I start, please remember that I do these videos just as a hobby and always seek advice from a professional financial advisor before making any investment decision. So Union Jack Oil are a UK onshore oil and gas production and development business. You can see all of their licenses here. And they currently have the Wrestle project, which they own 40% of. And they also have the West Newton project, which they have a 70% holding of. And that's currently at the final investment decision stage. So in terms of the developing projects, there's only actually a small amount of potential upside from these. And when you're investing them as a kind of speculatory play, you're hoping that these two projects here are going to get the go ahead. They have the Biscothorpe and North Kelsey projects, but unfortunately, these have had planning permission refused. But it's these projects that you're betting on if you buy this stock, hoping for massive upside. So, looking at their profit and loss statements, and you can see that they are now producing nice revenues of up to 4 million in 2022 these are actually just a half year result so we expect that to be 8 million by the end of the year and their ex and their expenditure is relatively stable so you see here how they've transformed from being a loss making speculative play to now a bona fide all company producing barrels of oil and making nice revenues and net income so you can see that here on this graph as they've matured into a proper oil company, you can see this nice net income trend. However, based on what we know from their production and uh, future expected resources, th this net income here is now expected to plateau. And really, it's all on whether they can ever get planning permission on these projects. So you can see that their assets are mostly their property plant and equipment and uh, their exploration and evaluation assets but these seem to have stabilized as the oil fields they have in full production have stabilized they've got 6.5 million in cash and it's great to see that they have no debt i like companies that have no debt and their only long-term liabilities are their provisions so that's where once you've set up an oil field you've got to plan for in the future the disbanding of that oil field and turning it back into a field with cows on it that costs money and that's that's the uh, what the provisions are so their net income history looks great but we're expecting that to plateau in terms of their market capitalization versus their value they've got a very nice looking profile you can see here now their net assets are now established and their revenues though should i think get to 8 million and then it should then plateau. So I've got a price to book for them of 1.7 and a price to sales of 10 and price to earnings for 20. But once we get the full year of the optimized revenues, it should be a price to sales of 5 and price to earnings of 10 to 1. You can see here how they've transformed into they now are generating a net income with um, decent revenues so they're not really a total speculative play at the moment if they were that's because you're banking on them getting planning permission here it seems that they're valued basically on the net income they can generate and the revenues from their from the assets which are developed so assuming this year's revenues they've got a price to earnings of 10 and a price to book of about two so that puts them about here so yes they are well valued versus all kinds of different other stocks but as an oil stock you have to ask why would you invest in Union Jack Energy when Shell or Total Energies are more cheaply valued Shell's got a price to book of only 1.2 and a price to earnings of 5.8 so if you're uncertain about them getting plank planning permission here I don't see why you'd buy them when you could buy shell and then you get a dividend as well
But if you did want to uh, speculate on that, they're certainly they're, they're certainly held together a lot better than most kind of speculative plays that you'll see. So for me, most of my stocks that I currently hold are oil stocks anyway. So I don't need any new oil stocks. So I shan't be adding them to my watch list. If I didn't have any oil stocks, I think I'd certainly be looking at them more closely before making the decision. I wouldn't be counting them out from what I've seen so far. So they're a no-go for me, but that's because I'm overweight oil stocks anyway. Union Jack Oil have transformed from being a risky oil development play to a profitable small oil stock. Their guaranteed future sales growth is modest. So at current valuation, you're betting on oil prices staying high and then getting planning permission for the Biscothorpe and North Keesley prospects. However, planning permission has been rejected at both those places. I'm already overweight oil stocks, so that's why they are just a no-go for me. But if you didn't have any oil stocks, I think that under List Trust's government, there could have been legislation put in place that will stop the ESG zealots at the uh, planning permission phase halting these kind of oil projects. Uh, but in the current political climate, I think it's dangerous to be relying on local councils giving planning permission in order to develop these valuable resources for the benefit of society. And so that would kind of put me off them because if I just wanted an oil stock, I'd rather buy Shell or Total Energies. Please read the disclaimer and remember that prices can go down as well as up.